Welcome back to Decked Out John Boats in part 12 of the full John Boat to Bass Boat conversion. So what do you do after you put the boat on the water? To make sure it has no leaks? That's right, you take it home and poke some holes in it. First thing we did was drill a hole for the bilge pump in the back of the boat. We used a stepper bit for this. You'll see it a little later in the video. Found the stepper bit worked better than a hole saw. Takes a lot less torque on the drill, and you can just drill it out until you get to the right size hole. Put the through hole fitting in, put silicone around it, got the hose to the right size, and silicone the bottom of the bilge pump down. Let that dry while we work on the line. In the live well, we drill a pilot hole. Then actually drill the hole out to the right size of the paddle bit. That way we can get the hole placement correct. Use a flow right valve. That way you could use one pump for both recirculation and pump out on the live well. It worked out really well. We're going to use a cooler for a live well. Make sure to get the longer through hole fitting. This allows for the insulation and enough threads to get the nut on the through hole fitting. water feel, recirculate and pump out, an overflow, and a drain plug. For the fill, we just went straight through the bottom of the boat instead of going through the transom. You don't have to run nearly as much hose through the boat this way. Remember to use the hose with the braid in it, not just the plain plastic hose. The braid helps keep the kinks out of the hose so you can get good water flow. silicone around all the fittings and hose clamp on all of the hoses. Sorry my camera died so you missed some of it but we'll do a walkthrough of the completed boat and you'll get to see it then. Don't forget we have decals available at deckedoutjohnboats.com for pre-order. Check those out and support Decked Out John Boats. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the great videos coming up from Decked Out.